vast areas of farmland around the world are on hillside slopes in humid tropical and subtropical regions. This means zones characterized by seasonal water scarcity and dry spells, conditions which are becoming more frequent because of climate variability and change. Here in Honduras, up to 78% of the land used for agriculture is on hillsides like these. Secure water provision and soil erosion are major problems. For generations, this had an impact on livelihoods, food production and the environment. When FAO developed the Quesungual system along with local farmers, here in the department of Limpira in southwestern Honduras, most of the farmers were using the traditional slash and burn method to manage their lands. That meant crops were grown in areas where the vegetation had been cut down and then burnt and discarded. After about three years, production would fall and farmers would have to move to new plots and start all over again. The Quesungual agroforestry system put power into the hands of small-scale farmers, beginning right here in the village of Candelaria. Hace 20 años, eh, los granos los poníamos más granos en el en, en el en el macanazo, pues. poníamos hasta cuatro granos en un solo puesto. Entonces eso había competencia en, en las plantas y Este, no nos rendía mucho. Ya hoy, con, voy a decirle, las nuevas experiencias que se están viviendo, uh, se mira que está rindiendo más la, la producción. Ese maíz. In Central America, the system is used to grow corn, beans and sorghum, a grain grown in many areas of the region and known locally as maicillo. Vegetables and soybeans are also grown. Farmers now manage vegetation, clearing it by hand. The tallest trees, which were previously cut and burned, are preserved as good sources of fruit, firewood and wood for furniture, as well as providing a fresh microenvironment for their crops. Somos un territorio de suelos frágiles. Eh, donde necesitamos tecnologías de bajo riesgo eh, y, y es donde está ubicada la población. Eh, tenemos todas las órdenes de suelos de clasificación en el mundo y esto implica que tenemos suelos ácidos de bajo fósforo que inciden mucho en la productividad agrícola y por lo tanto inciden mucho también en la penetración de las raíces de los cultivos al suelo para captar biomasa. A typical plot of one to three hectares consists of more than 20 large timber and fruit trees and hundreds of smaller trees and shrubs. These are pruned regularly to let the light in and allow a recovery period to boost growth. According to many farmers here, this means crops can be grown throughout the year on the same plot without the need to constantly relocate. Changes in cultivation were badly needed throughout the region because old practices took a hard hit on resources, as well as leading to extreme food insecurity. And that's not all. It's been credited with transforming the economy of this region. Yields have almost doubled, and farmers are getting more for less. Plus, they're eating better, more nutritious foods. De lo que yo produzco, entonces yo dejo la, la, lo, lo que voy a ocupar mí y lo demás, entonces yo se lo doy a mi mamá. Pero ella siempre me, me corresponde con el... Con, con los productos, pues ellos, ellos, ellos me pagan una parte y otra parte, la otra parte que se los dono y así es como yo hago con el producto. Y lo que me sobra de allí, yo le vendo a otra gente también, o al mercado a Candelaria. Quesungual has been up and running for some 20 years now, 
And over time, it's been putting a gradual end to migratory agriculture by increasing production, resilience and sustainability. El sistema que es un gual eh, no es nada más ni nada menos, ¿verdad? Que, que hacer una poda total o parcial de, de una parcela, ¿verdad? Sin, dejando de quemar, dejando de quemar, ¿verdad? Haciendo uso del rastrojo, dejando árboles como ustedes pueden ver acá, ¿verdad? Donde hay una dinámica, ¿verdad? En el suelo de descomposición de lo que es el rastrojo, ¿verdad? Y eso ha venido a mejorar las condiciones físicas, químicas del suelo y ha venido a mejorar la fertilidad del suelo. The system has been credited with boosting those humidity levels by 20%. It's also caused greenhouse gas emissions to drop and increased carbon sequestration. All good news for adapting to and mitigating the constant threats of climate change. With the help of FAO and its partners, entire communities are learning new techniques and those habits are sticking. Experts and locals alike agree that the success of the Quesungual system lies in combining the most ancient traditions of agriculture with modern techniques and science. La agroforestal para mí es una gran cosa porque mis tierras se han compuesto y yo he visto las cosechas pues y poco a bueno llevan las tierras ya haciendo el agroforestal. Because of the low costs in running the system, it has spread to other villages like here around San Lucas, in the department of El Paraíso, in the country's south. Bueno, yo siento que la, la vida me ha cambiado porque más diferente, ¿verdad? mis ideas ya, ya no es lo mismo como, como antes, ¿verdad? Todo lo que yo hago, pues, lo hago en, en bien para, para nuestro hogar, ¿verdad? Vivir mejor, eh, mi familia, Ultimately, crops can also withstand droughts more readily, and that's not the only plus point. The risks of soil erosion and landslides are also minimized because the soils maintain their natural structure. Como lo que antes los afectaba más era cuando eran los chorretes de agua, ¿va? pero como ahora ya se le ha parceleado ya casi ahora ya no. ¿Sí? Ya no antes sí, porque antes toda el agua de la calle se venía para acá. With up to a third of all soils around the world degraded because of erosion, the loss of soil's organic matter and processes caused by unsustainable land and soil management, the Quesungual system, piloted here in Honduras, truly is an example of how sustainable soil management can deliver results. It's hoped all these advantages could make it suitable for other farming communities with matching biophysical and socio-economic conditions, not only in South and Central America, but also perhaps in countries across Africa and Asia too. That, at least, is the dream of the people of Limpira and El Paraíso, Honduras.